today we are organizing the nursery. This is like by far one of my most popular blog posts on Healthy Little Mama and it's probably because I outline everything specifically where it, I felt like it should be like it's very detail oriented it makes me look a little crazy if I'm being honest with you but um, I love when things are just very functional and work really easily I feel like mom life needs to really be functional in order for you to like not completely lose it however I will be totally honest with you this nursery in the current state is an absolute hot mess like those drawers over there are a complete disaster the closet is also a disaster, um, so you're gonna get a little bit of real life here. So today we are organizing, we are cleaning, and I figured I'd take you along the way. So hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions or any tips, I would love for you to drop them in the comment section below. Um, and of course, if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that red bell so that you know when the next video is out. All right, let's go, time to organize. Okay, are you all ready for this disaster? <laughs> step in organizing the nursery is to take everything out and put it in piles. This way I can see what it is that I have. I'll keep the things that I need and I'll store the things that I don't. Okay, so now I just want to walk you through what is in all of the drawers and hopefully that will be helpful for you to figure out what might work best for you while you're like nesting and preparing for baby. Okay, in terms of clothing, What's in this top drawer is mostly newborn and zero to three months with newborn being closest to the top. Um, our newborn stuff is over here. These are all zero to three months back there. So these are the zipper onesies that I adore and love. There's four of the Carters and then two of the um, Burt's Bees. Again, these are tight fit. I didn't love them. Um, I have two loose fits in the laundry right now. I have the kimono side snap sets. I have two of those. This is a kimono side snap, but not with pants. The pants actually match this print. This is both Baby Gap. These are the kimonos from, or the side snaps from the, the hospital. Our hospital told us that if we don't take the stuff that they have to throw it out. So I would recommend taking um, what it is that you think you'll need. We have three of them here. We had winter babies and we live up north, so um, these are long sleeve with the cuffed like mitten onesies. This is like a baby gap, same thing as that, but a set. So there's a pants option too. And then over here are just like some extra pants. I do want to mention that I have learned I don't like to roll up um, any of my clothing. This is how I fold my laundry. <laughs> so this is just kind of how it gets put away. I know that I could fit more in a drawer if it was rolled up, but for me, more isn't necessarily better. I would rather have stuff that I know I'm gonna love and use um, rather than just like a ton of things. Okay, and so now moving over here to the second top drawer. So in this drawer, again, these are things that you grab most often. Keep in mind that we keep our diapers, wipes, paste and lotion on top for changing um again it works best for us i really liked having this changing tray i know that not everybody opts for one of those but i felt like both my kids were more stable in here plus a lot of times with bridget at least we would change on the bed in our master because that's where she was at but i keep the diapers and wipes <laughs> on the left side i had an experience where my first daughter had a blowout and stuff over on here because I'm right-handed, so her head is here and then her body was there. Got a little damaged. <laughs> so we like having the diapers and wipes on the left-hand side. And then I keep the paste out. We have triple paste. I love, this is my favorite diaper cream, um, recommended by our doctor and a friend. And um, lotion up on top. So if you don't have those things on the top, then those should definitely go in your top drawer. But because we have them on the top, this is what's in our top drawer. So we have burp cloths, swaddle sets, bibs, mittens, um, socks, hats, some extra pacifiers, a teether, and I have the nail file that I like to use up in the top drawer here. 
Okay, so this is the second drawer on the right side. Above this is clothing. This was the younger size clothing. This is the one size up. It's nice to have this as an option for two reasons. One, you'll, you'll likely be gifted a myriad of sizes. So it will just help you after your shower or when you just get gifts, things are in place. And then two, um, different brands have different fits for the same sizes so you'll find that your baby is like in between sizes for certain brands um like for example carter's i found to be like the most true to fit target cat and jack for us was a little bit smaller and tight fitting um baby gap was always kind of like true to size but maybe ran a little bit bigger you'll figure out what works for you but definitely have the two options that way when your baby's in between newborn and three months or three months and six months you can grab and go. Trust me, time flies. <laughs> okay, and so now moving over to this side, I have more hats, tons of hats. <laughs> I don't even think I used all of the hats, but they did match the set, so I wanted to have that organized. These are more of those extra changing tray um, cloths. These are more of the like sheet that goes over the changing tray. And then I liked having these like, really 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 soft and they're great for the beach too so okay so now in the very bottom drawers these are the things you're not gonna grab for most often so um put in whatever you want what we used on this side were these are some pack and play sheets this is more crib bedding sheets and these are extra bath towels and then on this side again i actually just there wasn't really anything in here it was just a hat and the scarf and i threw in my additional swimsuits and some disney gear from the next size up bin that i brought up from the basement but um whatever you think you'll use i used to keep like books and toys in this drawer because before we had the playroom we would play in this area but now that we have the playroom downstairs i don't really utilize the nursery space that often the summer months are getting warmer i guess this is like our seasonal drawer if you will so we have the swimsuits in the back they're still in the ziploc bags that i kept them in for the storage um, i'll have to like actually wash these everything else was already washed but the sweatsuit stuff is for nighttime walks or when it gets cooler in the summer months in the evening. So this is Gap, super soft. It has a hood. I love anything with ears and I'm pretty sure that has ears. This is another, oh no, this is an Oshkosh. Oshkosh little set, which is great for also just like lounging by the pool. That's another Gap set and that's um, something I was gifted. But so this is like the seasonal summer drawer. In terms of setup, this really worked well, especially with our firstborn. We have our changing tray at the top all the clothes and things you would need in the dresser. That's the hamper, which was really nice for like when she would have spit ups or like diaper explosion, I would just throw the clothes in the hamper. The diaper caddy, which I'll be honest, we didn't, we used a lot with Bella cause we could bring them out more frequently, but with Bridget, we would just throw them out outside like the dirty diapers. The lamp, nice little photo. This clock I used a lot for breastfeeding. My nursery chair glider used to be here and it's coming back once my done it my husband is done with the office. But so in the top drawer there, that's where I would keep like breastfeeding snacks, um, books, things that I would need for breastfeeding, like nipple pads, and then in the bottom I would have extra water bottles. Um, because you're thirsty when you're breastfeeding. Okay, so up next is this beast. This is the closet. Showed you this before. It doesn't look like too bad of a mess, but Trust me, it is. Okay, so I just wanted to stop here and talk a little bit about what I've organized so far. So in here I have hats. We have our hats for summer, or I guess hats for summer, plus like some Disney hats. I keep this for bows. Um, I don't really like to have them displayed. I feel like it looks a little chaotic, at least for this small room. Clothes pins I use for um, pants. I'll run that side when I get there, you'll see. Um, shoes, so these are like summer shoes or smaller shoe sizes because I have bigger shoes and winter shoes down here. Her little piggy bank. Um, these books, I interchange the books in all of the rooms, so this is what we have in here for now, but when my um, nursing chair or glider was here, it was actually right next to this, and this was the level that I could go and grab a book if I had baby in my arms. Um, so that's why they're lower. They're also lower if Bella were to grab them, they don't fall on her feet. That's like a smaller fall. Down here is some more winter stuff. 
Um, I'm thinking about finding a space for her like little bloomers and that might go on the other side. And then these are shoes that are like larger size shoes. The part that I'm at right now is like keepsakes. So in the newborn days, um, I just throw all the keepsakes on a shelf and then I'll go back to it this day um, to organize. So things like the footprint, the birth announcement, um, what else do I have? The little tag, the hat, um, things from like the hospital days, cards that we get. I keep them like all on a shelf. That way I'm able to see it and know that it didn't get lost. And then for now, like today, I'm gonna go and put them in boxes. So I wanna show you what that looks like. I was gifted these at a shower from a really good friend and they are just awesome. So they're like Kate Spade. You can get them at Marshalls. I've seen them before. I have like four of these now. Bella has two and now Bridget will have two. But I think I'm gonna put her keepsake stuff in here and then back in the closet. And then I have another one and these are for like keepsake clothing. So like her coming home outfit, her little Easter bonnet that her and Bella shared. Again, this was Bella's, but I used it for Bridget. Her like little sister sweater, oh my gosh. I'm so going down memory lane right now. Okay, so I'm organizing our keepsakes now and I just have to show you how off hysterical this is. So when, Bell, when Bella was born, we were given this by our hospital. It was like a, you know, how-to guide for newborn, for first-time parents. But this was a, our breastfeeding log and we tracked like when she um, ate, how much she ate, what side she ate. And that is how my breastfeeding tracker came to be from the blog because this was so helpful. Um, to us that I was like, oh my gosh, I have to share. So then I created this, which is literally that. So I hope that that helps you guys, but a little fun tidbit. It's on Healthy Little Mama. Okay, and our keepsake boxes. So in here I have all of Bridget's little stuff. Some of Bella's things are in there too. I'll go back and organize that fully one day. And then in here are like the things from the hospital, cards we got. Okay, so this is what the right side of her closet looks like right now. I'm gonna walk you through it. Her clothes are all organized, so two tips here. One are we have these like size dividers. I'm sure you've seen them on Pinterest or other you know, YouTube videos. Um, they're awesome to help you organize things, right? So I have now a handful of clothes here that I can exchange at Carter's, this is my second tip, leave the price tags on the clothes. Um, so wash some to prepare yourself, but when you leave the price tags on the clothes, you can exchange it for stuff that you actually need and that'll cut down on like a lot of waste and stuff and it'll help you with your budget. So you'll see that I have clothes um, throughout all the sizes that I keep the tags on in the closet. Over the bottom stuff, I can go over it again really quickly, but what I decided to do up here was move the keepsake boxes to the top and then put our diaper or additional diapers, wipes, diaper decor bags, and then the sad little <laughs> wipe warmer on this shelf. Like I said before, I keep most of the stuff out and then each room that we're in for most often has a diaper caddy. So this is just like our additional storage and this is easier for me to grab than up there where it used to be. I'm really happy with the way that the closet turned out. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. Like always, if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You can follow along on my Instagram account if you enjoy organization tips like this or if you just want to see some more of our daily life. I put a lot of information and content on there as well. Well, that's it. So I guess until the next video, you guys have a great day.